The eagle has landed. <laughs> the eagle is in my chair. Yes, she is. Hey, sexy. <coughs> hey, sixers. I'm doing the same. All right, so refreshing. Hi, everyone that's joined us already this morning. If you would, while we're waiting for everyone to join the broadcast, please join us on the Nails Magazine broadcast and hit the little share button <coughs> so that all of our fellow nail professionals can join us. Today we're going to talk about the Nails Magazine Foot Forward Summit and we want to make sure that as many people as possible get all of this information. All right, I'm clicking share on mine. Yep. Done. Did you share yours already? Guess. I did, yes. Brilliant. Brilliant. All right. Posting. Oh, I'm sharing in the wrong place. It's helpful if you share in the right place. Okay, you can scoot this way a little bit Gives more. Gives you more options. I need to come that way. Well, yes. I'm going to have to move my butt instead of the seat. How's that? <laughs> Better? Hi everyone that's joining. We are just giving people a couple minutes to join and make sure as many people as possible are on the broadcast. And if you would go ahead and click share down in the bottom corner and share the broadcast with your fellow nail professionals. So I'm just going to tilt it up a little bit more so it's... Yeah, you can. Okay. Don't let me trip on anything. Right. Cords galore. Someday we'll... Uh, keep feeling like we're <laughs> cutting off our heads. That's alright, we don't need heads. As long as, they, as long as they can see the guest in the iPad. Oops, let's turn the sound off. I put some more stuff in. Perfect. Can everybody see everything okay? Is everything looking good for you guys? <laughs> Sorry for the screen adjustments. <laughs> we want you to be able to hi everyone and say hi. <laughs> see our bright shining faces. Oh, ooh, what language is that? Asuka? Ooh. Cool, that looks awesome. Welcome to the broadcast, everyone. And it looks like we are three minutes past, so we will go ahead and get started. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Sorry, I told him yes, sir, earlier. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so, good morning. Welcome to the Nail On broadcast on Nails Magazine Facebook page. I'm Holly, the fingernail fixer, and joining me is BFF Mel, otherwise known as... Melissa Finch. From Mel's Tips of the Trade. Today we are actually doing a bonus broadcast. You'll notice that this is not the second Monday of the month, and yet you find us here on your here device. We are. So today we're actually doing a bonus broadcast covering the Foot Forward Summit event that will be in Atlanta coming this August. I'm getting really excited about I the am trip. Too. <laughs> I finally have my flight booked, and we are going in early. Yes, we are. We are getting pedicures in Atlanta. We're getting our nails done in Atlanta. Yeah. We're going to check out the zoo in Atlanta. Yes, I was planning on only coming in on Saturday. And the BFF knows here she's got to find something interesting for me to want to go early. And then she informed me that the zoo there has pandas. I'm like, oh, okay, we'll go Thursday. Yes, <laughs> because pandas are to BFF Mel what turtles, turtles are to yes. me. <laughs> yes. And you're thinking about either going early or staying late, Nellie? I think I might do both. Nice. I'm still working on that one. I haven't booked tickets yet, so I got some time to figure that out. Brilliant. So I'm joining us. Along to the zoo with you. Nice. That would be fun. Okay. <laughs> we'll let you know which day we're going. Yes. Perfect. Because we're kind of scheduling everything around our nail appointments. You know how it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Girl has to have her priorities. Right. Priorities <laughs> all the way. Joining us as a guest in the iPad for the first half of today's broadcast is Nellie Neal. Yay! Hey! Hey! <laughs> And you're getting lots of hellos. Can we show Nelly some love with some hearts and thumbs up, please? <laughs> we'll get some love for you going on the broadcast. There we go. There's, some, so there's some love. 
There's some Nelly love. Yay! <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself, Nelly. So I am the owner of the Petty Lab here in Minnetonka, Minnesota, and I specialize in foot care. Um, my main specialty with foot care is creating a flawless pedicure, no matter how tragic the toes were when they came into me. That's awesome. So, really take my time and do a very detailed service as carefully and effectively as possible. Mm -hmm. But I work out of this space all by myself, so it's a big private suite just for me and my client. So nobody has to be concerned with, you know, other people looking at their feet before they're finished. Nice. It's your <laughs> little secret. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I specialize in doing a lot of toenail reconstructions and extreme callus makeovers. So a lot of those people have been really ca like cautious of going into salons previously. Mm -hmm. So I just like to create a really, really like private quiet space for them to enjoy their service. Excellent. And calling it the Petty Lab really kind of puts you in focus of more of a necessary service than a foo-foo pedicure. Absolutely, yeah. And I do a good combination of both. Mm -hmm. I want them to, you know, get the results-oriented pedicure, but I really do try to make it a spa experience at the same time. For sure. And something really cool about what you do as well is your unique location. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm set on a 17-acre uh, nature preserve just really hidden away down in a little valley. Really hard for people to find the first time, which was completely my goal. <laughs> and it's been, it's been awesome ever since. I've been here a little over a year now. Awesome. And it's a beautiful space, if I do say so. Thank you. It's a gorgeous <laughs> space. So, ah, the little friend in my lap, Sandy, this is Six. Six is the <laughs> kitty cat that lives here at the Mel's Tips of the Trade Studios. Yes. So, and you may find other furry friends joining us later. I know that Nelly has his little furry friend down in the watermelon. Here's Frank. There's Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of curiosity, how many of you are viewing from home and you have your fur babies watching with you? <laughs> Probably everybody. Right? Like, that's the beauty of being at home is fur baby time, isn't it? <laughs> That's All right. Working from home too. Exactly. I am running up through the comments real quick to make sure we haven't missed any questions before we jump into more information on the summit. And Tracy, I'm guessing that you figured out by now. Yes, it's definitely Nelly in the background. <laughs> and and hello, the little friend. Hello to everybody that's just joining us. I see comments popping up. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, there's a good comment. The fur baby is too big for the lap. I love that. It's brilliant. <laughs> there's not a such thing as too big for your lap. Just too big for maybe the chair that you're sitting right. in. <laughs> because there's nowhere for the overflow right. off of your lap. Those are the best for... I love big the fur babies. Those are just sofa dogs. You gotta sit on the sofa with them. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So let's get into the Foot Forward Summit event in Atlanta. For those of you that have kind of been thinking about going or you know you're going, we have been putting out information. I've been writing some things on the blog. So on the blog, you'll find some tips and tricks on saving money with travel. If you will book your flight sooner versus waiting a really long time, <coughs> Nelly, your flight will be cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> so the sooner you book your flight, the more likely you are to save money if you're flying in. Also, something we mentioned is finding a roommate to share expenses. You could split the cost of a rental car if you want to do things besides come straight in and just do the event. Um, splitting the cost of a room, two ways, four ways, whatever you're comfortable with. If you visit the Nails Magazine Facebook page and choose events, you will see that there are some attendees posting that they're looking for roommates or looking to split some travel expenses. And the more people that post looking to do that, the more likely everyone is to find someone to share expenses. Uh, the question is, what blog is that? Um, you will find that on the Nails Magazine page, the Fingernail Fixer blog. 
And I can actually really quick pull that up and post a link in the comments as six gives me some love <laughs> he's like excuse me excuse me you stop petting me she oh yeah she why do i always call her a boy i'm so horrible um how do, oh there it is comment um hello let me comment why won't it let me comment i don't know it's not letting her comment but if we don't get it on right now we'll definitely get it in there um by the end of the broadcast yes or as soon as we're over and she gets her computer to cooperate so please check back with our comments it seriously won't let me comment what? okay we'll come back to it okay yes so if you go to um, I'll tell you what the link is it's nailsmag.com slash blog list slash fingernail fixer or if you just go to the nails magazine page and click on blogs then you'll find it before we jump into talking about the summit, do you have any questions that you've been like absolutely dying to have answered right this minute? We'll give you guys a second to type yes. in your questions. <laughs> and then a second for it to catch up so where we can see it. Right. It's just a tiny tiny bit of lag yeah the lags a few seconds so Nelly what are you looking forward to most you know I'm, I'm looking forward to there even just being an event like this I think this is definitely something the industry has been needing and I think this is something that nail techs have really been craving to have uh, I mean I think there's such a such an amazing group of nail techs that do want to specialize in feed and really do want to have the proper information so they can, you know, service their clients in, in an effective and safe way. So I think this event is going to be huge for bringing that to everyone. I'm really looking forward to um, education just focused on feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we, I think it really, foot care education is not a huge focus at a lot of trade shows. Mm -hmm. So I do think it's really important that we have an event all just geared towards speed and it's like-minded people getting together wanting to learn. Yeah, and it's very exciting. I see there are actually some doctors on the guest list for speakers as well as for the panel. Yes, which I think that's going to be really exciting. Um, I love working with doctors. I think that that is extremely important because, you know, they're there to really work on things that we're not allowed to, but they're not there to beautify the feet. So when you have a relationship with a podiatrist, right. it's really amazing to have them work on the feet and then you're there to beautify them, make that customer feel good about their feet again. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, question, who are the vendors? Do we know Perfect. that yet? Yes, let me pull up the foot forward. Oh, I, do. I can answer that. Oh, brilliant, go for it. Yay! So, uh, you got CJ Murray there uh, selling my which is an amazing disinfectant as well as some other things. You have the foot nanny there. You have LCN. You have foot logics. Um, I think, is there others? Let me pull that up. <laughs> I, think that, I think that might be all of them. I mean, those are some of the biggest names, I think. Yep. In, LCN, FootLogix, um, North American, NASP, I forget yeah. what the A, is it North American? It's a North American School of Pedology. That's okay, it. It go. was the school word that I was losing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next question is what are the classes, and I can tell you that one. On Monday, we have, there's a keynote speaker in identifying common foot conditions. Um, we also, on Monday, is how to work with a podiatrist and why it can benefit you using toenail braces to increase profit and client satisfaction, how toenail reconstruction can build revenue with speaker Nelly, and then in the afternoon after lunch, we have taking steps to ensure safe pedicure services, um, made to order, how to tailor your, your, tailor your services. Mm -hmm. Um, the business of foot care and how to market yourself. That is a panel, and Nellie is one of our panelists. 
expanding <laughs> expanding your revenue with additional revenue streams and then moving forward and then there is some advanced training on Tuesday which is included in the price but has a separate registration so you need to if you want to attend one of the advanced trainings on Monday go in and register under that separately um, I did forget one vendor that CJ just pointed out uh, Contigo Foot Spa is going to be there Brilliant. Okay. Thanks for oh, that, yes. CJ. The, Thank you, the CJ. Spa that I use, and it is my favorite. And we will be talking to CJ also here shortly after we're done with Mr. Nelly. Yes. Uh, so advanced training on Tuesday is Barefoot Toenail Rest Restoration Certification by LCN. Uh, oh, that does have a class fee. Pedicuring in the Gray Zone Certification from Foot Logics. And the business of pedicuring certification from NASP. Awesome. <laughs> but that's all on the on the Foot Forward Summit um, website. Yes. So if you'll go to footforwardsummit.com, the class information and details, as well as some brief bios on the speakers, has been updated. And we do have some fun information from our keynote speaker, right? Yes. Do you want to share that? Okay. This is from. P. Pilcher. I'm sorry. Yes, Bruce. Bruce. Thank you. Sorry, Bruce. Um, he says, hmm, a simple bio. Okay. I have two medical degrees, a DPM, which is a doctorate of podi podi podiatric, I think that's how <laughs> medicine and surgery, and an MD degree. I have been in practice for 33 years, and I have just seen just about every foot problem you may imagine. Why people should attend my lecture? We will be doing mini medical school in 60 minutes. Yes. Nice. Come to significantly expand your understanding of the foot and how this knowledge can translate into growing your business. Tip for those who are unable to attend, go visit the podiatrist near you, near where you work, and leave them your business card. They will start sending clients and patients to you for good foot care. And his favorite memory from a nail salon is watching my wife getting her nails done. Pure bliss. What a good man. Right? <laughs> That's an excellent man to watch you get your nails done. Heck yes. And if he pays for it in addition to watching you, that's right? even better. All right. So that answers the class questions. And we also had some information on a couple other people that would be in attendance. One is Vicki. And which class was Vicki teaching in that class sheet that you have? She's one of the first ones. Yeah, she's one of the I think she's right after classes. our keynote speaker. Um, I lied. She's 11, 11, 10 a.m. Using toenail braces to increase profit and client sanitation. Brilliant. And I and actually have... Taking steps to ensure safe pedicure services. Ah, nice. And I've actually purchased the toenail brace system and like have it sitting at home and I'm like, mm, I feel like I need another class because I did a brilliant um, webinar with CJ and oh, so I nice. have amazing notes because she's a great sharing educator. I just am still like, oh, this is, this is really like, I really feel like I need to see it in a class because I'm such a hands-on learner. I would love to get so, my hands on that and play yes, with it. <laughs> yes, so maybe it's we will have to... Right, and it's that whole getting the hang of it thing that I'd like to see in person before I use it yes. on a person just to be Absolutely. sure I'm doing it right. So definitely maybe we can play with it together when we get okay. back. Okay. Um, Vicki is a Vice President of Education at FootLogix, and FootLogix is a foot-focused line of products. She's been in the industry for over 30 years. She's a foot care expert, educator, and keynote speaker. She has lots of educational experience. You can check out her full bio at footforwardsummit.com. She's currently a VP of education for Foot Logics as well as the president of NASP. So I'm thinking this chick knows a lot about <laughs> feet. Uh, she's an international speaker and she believes that education is the key to continued success. And we definitely love to see any time a speaker is really enthusiastic about education because that's what sets some of us apart is our level of education and our passion for the industry and knowing as much as we can about what we're doing. 
And it gives people like me as a diabetic confidence when you're going into someone like Mel for a service that I don't really have to micromanage the pedicure. I can actually sit back and enjoy the service because I know she's not going to hurt me. Um, why should we asked some of the we asked Vicky some questions. We wanted to know why attendees should consider her class, and she has come back with information that Foot Logics is one of the leaders in the foot care industry, and they deal specifically in only feet. She's going to have in-depth, concentrated classes that go well beyond basic pedicure knowledge. There's also going to be some hands-on training in some of the classes. And her answer to what excites her as a foot care educator is she's thrilled when she sees a student have an aha moment okay. where everything they've learned comes into place. And I have to say that's probably one of my favorite things about yes. educating as well. No matter what the topic, that aha moment from, from attendees. And yes, yes. How do you feel when someone gets that aha moment when you're talking to them, Nellie? Well, I mean, obviously, it makes you feel pretty good because you finally said something that made it click. <laughs> right, and it's that click that's like, okay, now they've gotten it, their return on investment for attending that class. Yes. Absolutely. I love hearing that comment of, this was so worth the time, I learned so much, mm -hmm. you know, where they don't sit there and be like, man, this was a waste. Right. <laughs> yes. Hopefully nobody ever leaves the class thinking that. No, yes. I, I don't really see, I don't think I've seen that, but I love it when they have vocalized that, yes, this was worth my time. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So we will give you guys a chance to post some questions if you have some other questions for us on the Foot Forward Summit event. Uh, Nellie, I see that you are teaching with Denise in yeah. your class. And what will she be bringing to the table? What can you tell us about Denise as a speaker? So Denise is going to be a really big asset to have at the show. Denise has spent a ton of years actually working with podiatrists. So she's a really good contact to have when that's an area that you're looking to get into. Awesome. So I think more or less she's going to be able to help kind of with the toenail reconstructions, mm -hmm. helping you figure out how to market that with a podiatrist so you guys can work together. Awesome. And just so that you as our viewers are aware, for our August broadcast, the Monday of Foot Forward Summit is actually the second Monday of the month. So guess where we're going to be broadcasting from? Hmm. The Foot Forward <laughs> Summit. <laughs> yeah. So who knows who we'll have on the show with us live. They won't even have to be in the iPad. We'll actually have some live guests on the show as well as giving you some behind the scenes looks into what's going on. If you cannot make the Foot Forward Summit, then we'll definitely bring you some tidbits of information. So keep an eye on both of our social media channels, mm -hmm. Mel's Tips of the Trade and Fingernail Fixer, mm -hmm. as well as the Nails Magazine social media channels. Will you be broadcasting as well, Nelly? I'm sure I will be. I never put my phone down. <laughs> and what is your Instagram and Facebook if they don't follow you yet? Uh, my Instagram is at Get Nailed by Nelly, N E L L I E. And Facebook is Nelly Neal. Excellent. So, from between those four places, you'll definitely get some interesting coverage on the Foot Forward Summit. Oh, yeah. We'll and be broadcasting, I'm sure, the whole time. Excellent. Except for while you're in class, maybe? Uh, you yeah. <laughs> know. <laughs> you never know what could happen. <laughs> Do any of you have questions on the Foot Forward Summit so far? Is it quiet on your screen as well? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, Shelby was the last one to say ah, hi to us. Nice. <laughs> So I'm guessing that a lot of you have maybe hopped on to the newly updated footforwardsummit.com to see that there is a lot more information up there and ready to go now. Mm -hmm. um, I would encourage you to keep an eye out on the Fingernail Fixer blog on the Nails page for more information of, um, I've got a blog coming up with restaurant ideas near the Foot Forward Summit, mm -hmm. as well as um, something upcoming before then about where to book a nail or a pedicure service if you'd like to get treated especially to a pedicure so you're not walking around with crusty feet at a foot forward summit. Right. <laughs> yep. 
I'm looking forward to ours that are that are scheduled. Yes, I was trying to think, have we ever been able to get a pedicure at the same time? It's been probably, I would say, better than 10 years since you and I have been able to sit next to each other yes. and sit back and relax and get pedicures. Because we did that here in Altoona, didn't mm -hmm. we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, we usually have to just trade. Right. So, yeah, it's really exciting as best yeah, friends. Is fun too, oh, yeah, trading is awesome. Mm -hmm. But at least when you're getting it side by side, you can actually sit and have a glass of wine. Or Ooh. Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. Like, cheers. Like, yep. <laughs> um, so how did this come about? The Foot Forward Summit was a concept by Nails Magazine. They realized that there is a shortage mm -hmm. of foot care education when it comes mm -hmm. to a trade show event or even a lot of the networking events. You'll usually see kind of one or two foot classes, but they realized that this is really an area of our industry that the education is not as easy to find or as easy to access unless you're following specific people. Like if you're following Nelly, then you definitely know about different foot care classes coming up that he knows about. However, if you're not following very specific people within the industry, then you don't always have the opportunity to know about foot care classes. And a lot of manufacturers don't even offer them anymore. Mm -mm. Um, or if they do, it's a general spa class, like with some massage tips and some product knowledge, but not really truly getting into like your foot disorders, caring right. about people that don't have perfect feet and things like that. Right. So it's really an effort by Nails Magazine to kind of bridge that gap and fill in the lack of information when it comes to really comprehensive, detailed foot care. Yes. And it's nice that they've brought in some medical professionals to really enhance that knowledge so that it is more science. Yes. And nail geeks, we love some science. <laughs> we do. <laughs> yep. All right. We're almost done with Mr. Nelly. Does anybody have any questions for him before he leaves us? Yes. Do you have any questions for Nelly? If you don't have any questions for Nelly, make sure you show him some thumbs ups and some hearts and love before he leaves us. <laughs> there we go. Give him some love. Yay. Yay. <laughs> love, love, well, love. Thank you guys for having me. Oh, so thank you for joining us. Yeah, we Absolutely. really appreciate your time. And if you ever need me, and let me know. I just gotta go get my eyelashes done now, so I look beautiful for Gatlinburg. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Have a great time in Gatlinburg. Thank Say hello you. to everyone for us. Absolutely. And Thank kisses you, right? to Frank. <laughs> I will. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Thank Take you. care. Is anyone going to come up with massage video? Um, can you elaborate on that by what you mean about massage video? Like, are you looking for ideas for step-by-steps or techniques? What are you looking for in a massage video? And welcome to those of you just joining us. We are in the process of answering questions about the Foot Forward Summit and we're getting ready to bring on our next special guest. Yes, I'm about to call up CJ Murray here. We told her 11.30, so I don't want to jump the gun on her too much. Right? right? We'll give her a couple minutes so we're not early. Do you want to talk about and Ms. Janet? I would love to. Okay. One of the panelists at Foot Forward Summit is Janet McCormick. And for those of you that are not familiar with her, she has been in the industry for quite some time. And she is an absolute wealth of knowledge, especially when it comes to the medical aspect of pedicure knowledge. So there's probably not anything she doesn't know when it comes to diseases and disorders. Um, so, I would go as far as to say she knows a lot about um, the anatomy, even the musculature. She is very, very knowledgeable about so a lot of that. awesome resource for... An insanely <laughs> awesome resource. I have done some um, online classes from her and they're really what feels like to me i feel like going to nail school was high school and taking classes from like janet or many nails or things like that are like nail college so she's like nail college level information and i generally have to study it a few times for all of that information to sink in because it's just <laughs> such comprehensive information from janet i'm gonna dial up cj here so 
Forgive me while I don't want to interrupt. Brilliant. Okay. Hi, CJ. Hey. Hey. Miss Holly, we're going to read a quick bio on one of our other presenters. And then we'll hop over to you. And then we're going to get on you. Do I have you centered well enough here? Brilliant. Yep. So Janet is a 37 plus year veteran of the beauty industry. Um, she's written over 400 educational articles in the nail and skincare trade magazines. She's done two books. She's authored manicuring and pedicure chap chapters of Milady Nail Technology Textbook, which also Doug Shu has written pieces for yes. the Milady. Um, she is really into empowering nail professionals and estheticians. So definitely her knowledge is very broadly based into both categories. She has some great degrees and she is co-author of Nail Care Academy and co-owner and contributor to Salon Gurus. And we will definitely post those in the comments either during or after <coughs> the broadcast when it allows me to add comments. Um, otherwise, Your comment it's, did post, by the way. Did it? Awesome. Mm -hmm. It's nailcare-academy.com or salongurus.com. And gurus is G-U-R-U-S in case, because like I hear that word, I'm like, how do you spell that exactly? So she is definitely into upgrading mm -hmm. skills and knowledge of nail professionals and estheticians. So it's a really huge bonus to have her on the discussion panel at the Foot Forward Summit. And then I'll hang on to this because she sent a tip with some information um, for nail professionals that can't attend the event. Okay. So I definitely want to throw that in as a bonus here okay. in a little bit. Hi, CJ. Hey there. How are you? Great. How are you? Doing good. Excellent. So CJ is, are you the owner of Center for Beauty? I am. Perfect. CD, CJ owns Center for Beauty, which is a um, distributor. And CJ is probably one of the most amazing people when it comes to service that I have run across anywhere. And I always come away from her emails like, oh. <laughs> like it just feels like back in the olden days when customer service was really important mm -hmm. and you really felt like a valued person just from having spoken to them. And she always leaves you coming away feeling like your time, your comments, everything about you has value to her. And I love that warm, squishy feeling. It's even better than driving through Chick-fil-A and they give you your food and say, my pleasure. Like, she is the ultimate customer service. She ranked you above Chick-fil-A. That's something. Right? <laughs> like, she's amazing. Thank so, you, <laughs> CJ, what can you tell us about the Foot Forward Summit? Could you clarify the vendors in case we missed anyone or for people that have just joined us? Absolutely. Um, thank you for the great introduction. I would like to add one thing, though. Please. Like, beauty business is all about feet. So I have been focusing on foot care for the pedicure service um, or for the salon spa professional since way back into 2008. So I am just so excited to be able to be a participant and see that Nails Magazine is, or somebody at least, is, is – um, moving forward to really focus on the, uh, you know, on feet itself. Um, I think you named all the, all the vendors that are going to be there. Of course, there's myself, and we have FootLogics and LCN. We have Contago Spa, and we have uh, the Foot Nanny out of California. Those are the vendors that I'm aware of right now. The speakers I know are absolutely phenomenal. I know there's some other topics that, that's going to be discussed at the forum as well. And um, I, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that we have a really good turnout on this because clients love to see us grow. Whether it's professional or it's personally, our clients love to see us grow. And when we do these educational classes and we share them with our clients and we share them with the public, it really shows stability in our business. And personally, our clients become our friends. So Most they're thrilled to death to see us grow personally as well. And I think one of the things that that we miss in our industry is getting this education across to the public 
And um, when we do something like this, especially where this is like the flagship, because we really haven't had anything like this in the past for our industry, I think it's a great time to be able to share that with not just our clients, but share, share that through the media, through the newspaper, and get the exposure that our society needs in showing, showing that we are more than just about the fluff and buff. Absolutely. It's really important that clients realize there is a difference in pedicure. There's a difference in salons. And so a pedicure shouldn't be painful. You shouldn't need to see a doctor from getting a pedicure. Or need a Tylenol. Or need a Tylenol from the pedicure being painful. And it really is important for the consumer to know that because then they will demand that the professional meet that standard. That's it. That's exactly right. And I, and I tell you, I mean, you, you've opened up a can of worms here with me, Holly, because <laughs> I, I get so passionate about this stuff. And, and, you know, some, some may already know my experience in speaking with one of our state senators in regards to Florida wanting to, um, to reduce the amount of hours that we have in, in our nail tech license. And when I went to talk to him, it was really interesting because you know, you can tell a lot by body language, and he, he was listening, there's no doubt he was listening, but it was kind of like the same mundane thing, and then all of a sudden, I, I, as I started to talk to him, you know, my passion kind of just started coming out, and I started to say, you know, foot care is not like it used to be 50 years ago. In so many ways, we are the first responders. We are the first ones to see if there's any type of mark on the skin that could, that, that could be signs of cancer. We are the first ones to see any cuts or abrasions on the bottom of our client's feet because they're elderly and they don't have anybody care, mm -hmm. care for them. We're the first ones to be okay, to identify mottled skin and, and make recommendations for them to go see podiatrists, which we should in, in all cases. And because of that, we have to have affiliations in our associations with the podiatrists out there because our, we have to stay within the limits of our license. And, and I, I believe that this foot forum will really help people understand that because the medical professionals that are there will definitely express upon that which really needs to be expressed upon that we need to stay within the limits of our license but back to my point when i started to talk to him about that i noticed a little puppy up in his in his whole appearance and and uh you know at the end of the conversation he said to me he says nobody has ever put it to me this way nice that this is it's such a totally different aspect and i said Exactly, because when we think of pedicures, we think, unfortunately, and, and this isn't a bad yeah. thing yeah. for the industry, but we think, of, we think of the nail service, we think of stiletto nails, we think, think of the bling, we think, think of, the, of the playing, we, we think of all the different pretty new trendy colors that are coming out. This is what our society asso associates foot care to. Yes. And, and it's sad because there's so much more that that has to do with it. But anyways. No, I, I really like the I, comment. I love my box. I'll get off my <laughs> no, I really like your, your perspective of where are the first responders. Um, there was another gal here. Erin says she agrees, the first responders. That is a great way to look at that because it's not, like you said, it's not just toes. It's foot care. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. And, and I think... The, the frustrating part for me, and when you were talking about, um, you know, with Nellie, about how the, the most exciting thing is when somebody comes and tells you they have that ah uh, uh moment. I tell you what, I've been in this industry for 30 years. My focus is the nail technician. We have always been on the low man of the totem pole. And Holly, thank you for the, your comments on customer service. I hope and, and pray that I, I have it in me to continue to do that because it has always been such a frustrating aspect to me that our, us as technicians are so non-recognized. We, we just, we are 
was always on the low merit of the totem pole. And when I started my business back in 2008 to really focus on feet with distribution, that was that was my commitment, not just to you, but to myself, that I would always keep that technician on the high end of the totem pole because we have to, we have to be. We mm-hmm. are more important than people, people think. And that's why it's so important going back to the foot forum that if you are attending this class, this is the absolute perfect opportunity to do a press release, Mm -hmm. to announce it all over the world, social media, not just on your pages, but go on to find podiatry's pages that you can link onto and make that announcement that you're going to this flagship foot forward, foot forward summit and, and be proud of what you're doing and what you're going to learn. And if you can link into those podiatry pages, who knows which podiatrist you may end up linking to as a referral basis. So it, this is, I mean, it's, it really is a lot more grandiose than it sounds. And it can be as big or as small as you want to be. If you're spending the money for the social aspect, my advice is truly stay home because every bit of money that you put towards education is going to pay off. Yes. If you really believe in that education and based on what I'm hearing with the, with the speakers that will be there and, and those, those of us who will have tables, I know for myself, it's a little different trade show than what we're used to, but we have some exciting information that we're going to share in regards to disinfection and in regards to toe props with like med pads and toe separators, things that we need in our salons that most people don't realize they can get. So it, it's, it, you know, if you're gonna spend the time to do this and spend the money to be there, then use it to your fullest ability mm-hmm. and market yourself. And, and in doing so, you're marketing the industry. You're giving the industry a better name you're putting a light out there on what people don't see about in our industry, and it, and we need that. We really do. Absolutely, and this then the time leading up to Foot Forward Summit would be an ideal opportunity to maybe connect with some podiatrists in your area and talk to them about tagging their pages mm-hmm. while you're at the Foot Forward Summit. As, That's exactly right. Yeah, as well as ask your clients who do they go to as a podiatrist. That's a really good way to get started if you live in a really large city and there are hundreds of podiatrists. Ask your clients who they see and start with people that you already have a connection to. And something else we could do to kind of make sure we're all sharing information is use the hashtag Foot Forward Summit. Just put the pound sign and the word (laughs) Foot Forward Summit with no spaces in your post and then once you make that post you'll be able to click on that hashtag and see what other people have posted at the event because i find when i look at other people's posts from an event they've caught something in a different perspective than what i did and so i continue to learn even afterwards that's exactly right and can i add one more thing please of course when we when we do these when we do this summit which is completely different than any other trade show i would really highly recommend that everybody write a list of 10 questions that they want answered because when these panelists get up there they're sharing their they have volunteered to share their expertise with you so be ready have these questions doesn't matter how difficult or far off you may think it is have these questions ready so that when it comes time to the question answer part which i know there is going to be that that you have some really good valid questions ready to ask the people that, especially the ones that you haven't been following in this industry, these new doctors that are coming in. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're, we're always here for you. The Mies, the Nellies, the Vickies, the LCS, we're always here for you and, and glad to be. But you have some new people coming in. I think that it, it's really important to tag off of those people and ask some questions that that you know again maybe it seems so tar- totally far out to you but write them down and be prepared that that would be my biggest advice is be prepared with something like this that's really good advice because nothing is more frustrating 
than to enter a situation like that and you're so overwhelmed by your education from the day that you can't remember the questions you had before you got there. Yes. So that's great advice, DJ. Thank you. You're welcome. And for the people that aren't familiar with you yet, can you let them know about your social media as well as your blog? I love your weekly blogs. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I love writing my blogs. I, you know, I always joke, it takes uh, one or two beers and I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> so anytime you see those typos, you can, uh, you, you can blame it on the beer or two. My husband actually got to the point where he said, will you please show this to me before you post it? <laughs> 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 all the errors. But, uh, so, so my business is Center for Beauty. I carry products that, that have to do with feet. I'm on Facebook. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm trying to get better on the whole Instagram thing. I'm on Pinterest. I'm on Google. If, if there's a social media aspect out there, I'm on it. Nice. Um, and it's all always has to do with Center for Beauty. If you can't find me under Center for Beauty, it may be tagged under CJ Murray. Um, but I, I do a lot through social media. And my blog is something that I started writing. Uh, good Lord. I started writing for Cosmoprof actually several, mm -hmm. several years ago. Mm -hmm. And when they stopped their articles, I just kind of took it over and did it on myself and or for myself. And it's my Have You Heard blog. Yes. And I write topics that primarily have to do with the business of fee the majority of the time. And I'm really excited about the one I wrote today because I learned something new. Nice. And, um, it, you know, and that, and that's what it is. I learned it today. It happened to be regarding my daughter and a new facility she's in and a question they asked. Do you mind if I share? Because I Oh, please do. So she, she moved mm -hmm. my, my, my daughter moved and she's at a new, um, she's in Connecticut from Florida and she's in a, a salon that all they do is highlighting services. She's a, she's a hairstylist. So in talking to her, she I, I was asking her what was different between this salon and the salon she came from down here in regards to the client consultation, because that to me is, is huge, client yes. consultation, huge. And she said, well, she goes, one of the things that, that's different is we ask them how much they expect to pay for that service. Wow. And I said, really? I said, so you go through the whole consultation, you find out what the client wants, and then you turn that back around and say, okay, for all of this that you want, what are your financial expectations? And they'll come back and they'll say, you know, well, how much is it going to be? Or my budget is this, my budget is that. And she had a client that the service would have totaled $400. And the client came back and what's hysterical about this is she was a, she was a hairstylist herself, this client. So the <laughs> back and said, um, I'm really only prepared to pay $200. And the response back from my daughter was, well, you've asked for this, 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 and this. For $200, we can do this and this today, and then we can reschedule you to come back to do the additional service when it's within your budget. And a light bulb went off in my head, and I thought, this is just absolutely brilliant because we so often – we think we're going to spend 45 minutes on a client and then an hour and a half later, we're still working on that client yes. because their toenails needed more work or the skin on their feet needed more work. And I thought not only is it brilliant, but what a way to really build somebody's own self-esteem. For sure. And so often our clients or ourselves, not our clients, but our technicians, I hear it all the time, you know, oh, I can't charge that. Oh, you know, I'm afraid to raise my prices. I mean, there's just so many things that come back where we just don't want to do this. But now we don't have to change anything. Mm -hmm. We just have to say to Mr. Smith or Mrs. Smith, as I used in my article, you know, look, you're, you know, if you're only expecting to pay $40 for this, I, if you're, you need all this work on your toenails we need we need some extra work on the skin in order to get the results that you wanted and that's another key question 
what are you expecting to get from this service? And if your client's coming back and saying, well, I want my cuticles cleaned up, my toenails clipped, I want my skin not to be dry anymore, you know, basically they want a miracle, which we can give in most cases. With the proper uh, amount of time. In, in mm -hmm. the proper amount of time, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I just I just had to share that. that and those are some of the things that, that I do. I learn from my clients. I learn from my family you know, life's experiences, whatever it is. And I always try to, try to tie it into something that has to do with feet. My blog is available to everybody on my website, which mm -hmm. is cjcenterforbeauty.com. And it has its own little page. And there's there's just a time, there, it's archived. You can go in there and every article I wrote is, is in there. So awesome. it's, it's easy. And when we get off the broadcast, can you put a link to your site in the comments for everyone? Uh, Perfect. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. So, so back to the foot forum. Yeah. I first wanted <laughs> Nails Magazine for for doing this. Uh, you know, since I since I opened my business in 2008, foot care has been growing at a rate of 30 percent mm -hmm. each year. And it, it's um, you know, as we said earlier, it's not the fluff and buff like it used to be. It can be. Right. But have to kind of mingle the fluff and buff in with the serious stuff and we need to be able to know the difference of what we can and we can't do mm -hmm. and our clients are looking for us to give them solutions yeah so I this foot form is really going to give our our technicians an a idea or different ideas hopefully of what they can do um, to, to offer those solutions to their clients with staying within the limits of their license yes because it's really important to know and understand your scope of practice and it's also important to approach a pedicure service as a skin and toenail maintenance and Absolutely. have clients understand that this is a really important service for your continued well-being not just an unnecessary want it's actually a need yes yeah, absolutely. Well, you know my favorite saying, Holly. <laughs> if you if you only brush your teeth once a month, what do you think's gonna happen? Exactly. Exactly. All maintenance. It really is, and home care is important. And mm -hmm. will some of our vendors be covering home care? Um, I don't know if our vendors will be doing that. I'm sure that in the I know that in the LCN barefoot class on Tuesday mm -hmm. we. They cover. We always cover home care for sure. Mm -hmm. I know in the in the product wise with home care, um, you know when we're talking pedicures and foot care products, we we always cover home care absolutely. And I will be doing it at my booth with my um, my toe prop products, uh, you know, with the met pads and the toe separators and things like that. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I, I know I'll be covered in my area. Brilliant. So home care is equally important to the service because if they're not maintaining it, CJ's example of only brushing your teeth once a month is perfect. If you're not maintaining it at home, then the results aren't going to be exactly what you're looking for. Yeah. So it's getting that client to understand that their foot care service is a partnership with you. What One of the things I've told my clients is, I cannot be completely responsible for your nails if I see you only one hour every two weeks or one hour month once a month. You have to take responsibility in it yourself too. Like I said, this is a partnership between the two of us. Yeah. And a great comment from Erin is with the growing population of people that have diabetes, foot care is an absolutely critical need. And this is something that I agree with. Um, even as a diabetic, I have a tendency not to look at the bottom of my feet on a regular basis. And I depend on the person doing my pedicure to let me know if there's anything that wasn't there the time before. And that's where that consultation and those client notes come in. That's exactly right. And, and she is right about that. But truthfully, foot care is an absolute critical need for everybody. And as I can see, Aaron stated, you know, our insurance companies have pulled away from our, our podiatrists, mm -hmm. which is making us in the salons first responders. And we just need to take that more seriously than we ever have in the past. Absolutely. 
thank you so much for coming on and joining us, CJ. We've loved having you, and we really appreciate the extra information. And to kind of close out today's broadcast, please post if you have any questions so we can get to those before we close out. And everyone send CJ some love, some thumbs up and some hearts, please. Show CJ some love. And I'd like to give you a tip for those that could not make it to the Foot Forward Summit from Janet McCormick. She said to remind you that many education resources are now available to nail technicians, from networking to conferences to conventions. Every time we attend an event, no matter what your experience is or how long you have or haven't been in the industry, those aha moments of learning are important for your knowledge and skills, especially when attending non-product related classes. And this is so true. So even though you may not personally be able to make it to the event, search for the hashtag Foot Forward Summit and see what information you can learn from others attending the event. Yes. That's a really great piece of advice. And Janet's favorite memory in the industry is the first time she reconstructed a toenail on someone that had had it partially removed in the mid 80s. And the woman was able to wear beautiful sandals again. I had that experience just a couple of summers ago. Nice. This gal hadn't worn open-toed shoes in public in 20 years. Wow. And she was able to go out and buy sandals. Look I mean, at you emotional. Tearing up. It, she teared up when she was all done. Yes. Yes. And Sorry. that is, <laughs> we are, we are kind of therapists mixed in with first responders, yes. mixed in with friend. We do so much for them and they look to us to be able to trust us to take care of them and not cause harm and to stay within our scope of practice. Yes, agree with you, Erin. New information is always coming out, changing, improving. So even if you've been in the industry, I've been in the industry for 19 years, how about you? 17. So even as long as we've been in the industry, I can guarantee you we are going to learn something at the Foot Forward Summit. So you've never been in too long to know everything. That just isn't a point that that's, occurs. That's a comment I used to tell um, students when I taught at the cosmetology schools. If you got to where you think you know everything about your, your certain practice, everything about nails, everything about hair, um, it's time to move on and do something else because you've lost the passion for it. Yes, yes. We do wear many hats in the industry. And Deb, the growing niche is falling in between typical salon and medical environments where it's creating a challenge to find appropriate workspaces. That's a really good point. And this is maybe something that we could delve into a little further in future broadcasts. And perhaps it would be ideal for next week. Next week for our regular monthly broadcast on the second Monday of the month, we have Dr. Dana Stern joining us as a guest. And so you can bring your skin questions, your foot questions, your nail questions, because Dr. Stern is a, not a podiatrist, she's a dermatologist. dermatologist. Thank you. I'm like, I'm forgetting the word, help me. <laughs> so she is I got you. a dermatologist. And we'll definitely post some more information about Dr. Stern. So keep an eye on social media and join us next week at our usual time, which is 11 Central, noon, East Coast, <laughs> 10 a.m. West Coast. Uh, mountain. M mountain is 11, no, Mountain is 10, thank you, nine on the West, West Coast. Coast. And it ends up being about five-ish in London, am I remembering correctly? Um, There's six hours ahead of us? Yes, so it ends up being about five o'clock in London. Or in yes, there's six um, hours ahead Spain and Denmark, it would be six o'clock. And then I know sometimes we have our friends from New Zealand and Australia join us, and they are getting up before dawn. So it's always a pleasure. Like, to example, see them as right well. now mm -hmm. in Brisbane, it's almost three in the morning. Exactly. And in Auckland, it's almost five in the morning. Perfect. <laughs> so we see that you don't have any additional questions on the Foot Forward Summit. Again, a reminder, check out the event here on the Nails Magazine Facebook page so that you can look for a roommate or see if someone wants to share expenses. If you split a cab from the airport to the hotel, that's going to save you money. Even if you don't want to room with someone, you could still split a cab with someone 
that has a similar flight time. I will be needing to go back to the or airport on Tuesday uh, by myself because somebody else is staying in Atlanta. Yeah, I have to <laughs> literally go from the summit to another work event. So it's that whole work workaholic thing. So if somebody wants to pair up with me on a cab ride to the back to the airport on Tuesday, hit me up, let me know. <laughs> oh, thank you. She has, I, I'm always afraid to say Ms. Taylor's first name because I'm afraid I will butcher it. And she has given us, you can pronounce it, is it Thoden? I would say Thoden. Thoden. Mm -hmm. Let us know if we did that right. That's awesome. And let us know if you have any other questions. We'll come back and check the comments on this video if you want to continue to leave questions here. You can also leave questions in the event itself on the Nails page, and we'll come back and check yes, those. We check those And regularly. leave answers on that page for you as well. And thank you so much. Yay, we said it right. Now I'll know how to say your name when you talk to us. Thank you, Thoden. And so, Where's Thoden from? Uh, yes, that's where are a, you from? That's such an interesting name. Where's everyone from in the yeah. chat? Hit us up. Can we're you, curious. We got a couple minutes. You let us know where you're at. Yes. In case you haven't watched us before, we're actually broadcasting from um, Des Moines, Iowa. Well, Altoona, Iowa. It's a, right. it's a suburb of Des Moines, but um, Hiley and I sure. both live in Iowa. I live in Altoona, and she lives about an hour and a half from me. Mm-hmm. So, are you getting responses quicker than I am? Not yet. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. Maybe we caught them off guard asking where they're from. They're like, what? I'm Wait, supposed to thought, answer something? I thought we were done. <laughs> they might be listening while they work, and so they can't type to us. There we go. Ah, there we go. Tennessee. Tennessee. <laughs> is it as hot in Tennessee as it is in Iowa today? What are we today? It shouldn't be as bad as it was last week. Ah, she lives in Florida, but her mom is from Iceland. Ah, nice. Nice. Um, we are 82 right now. Feels like 85. Oh, that's not as bad as it has been. No. Like no our, we've been in the hundreds. Our, the our heat index last Friday was like 109. Right. Yes. So definitely your toes should be looking awesome as hot as it is right <laughs> yes. now. Because if you have to put on shoes and socks, it's really sad. Yes. Ooh, Massachusetts. Nice. So we've got a good mix all over the place. Ah, it's an oven in Massachusetts as well. Yeah. I think that's like a general feeling of the U.S. here lately is an oven. Yes. Um, Europe was a little cooler, which was really a nice treat. Oh, cool. Do you get to see your parents when you come to the Foot Forward Summit, Thoden? Kelowna, hey, Iowa. Iowa. Hey, I know Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Awesome. <laughs> it's good to see you, Shannon. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. <laughs> you know, one of the things that I've just... There's a Texas. It's definitely hot there. Yes. One of the things I've just loved about doing these broadcasts, and it is just kind of blows my mind, is how we can sit here in what is, I've turned my spare bedroom into my nails studio, my nails haven, and we can communicate with these people all over the world. Mm -hmm. I just love that aspect of social media. Well, and I love that our passions are the same. Yes. So we're getting to talk to like-minded people that are total nail geeks, total. and they love information like we do. My license plate is actually nail geek. It totally is. I love it. I'm a little jealous that she got that. All right. So we should shut her down. Okay. Stop taking up everyone's time. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us to talk about the Foot Forward Summit. Definitely join us next Monday when we are talking to Dr. Dana Stern. And as CJ mentioned, have some questions prepared for Dr. Stern. We would love to take your questions live and get some answers for you. And until and next time, nail, nail on. on. See ya.